Gloria Smith lives in the Woodstock neighborhood of Southeast Portland. Her home is cozy, her backyard garden filled with veggies and herbs. It's a world away from the beaches she remembers as a teenager in Osaka, a large port city on the Japanese island of Honshu. I stand up by the beach and say, I look at all the way out there and say, I know, all the way out there is America, I'm going there someday. On that beach, she felt the pull of America from within. My father and my mother met in Osaka, Japan, like in 1945 after the war. Uh, he was an American soldier. Gloria's story is like thousands of others. I was born in 1950. According to estimates, between 1945 and 1952, American servicemen in Japan fathered close to 10,000 children. But the Japanese Welfare Ministry put the official number much lower. Historians believe that's because the children were mixed race and shunned by the community. Often they weren't counted or they were placed in orphanages. The U.S. military's policy about these occupation babies, they were not their concern. That was a very difficult childhood and, you know, kids tease you because you look different. I knew that wasn't a good thing, you know, they are talking bad about, you know, my mother, you know having a child with an uh, uh, American soldier. Many relationships between the Americans and the Japanese women were long-lasting. Gloria's parents were together five years, but soon after she was born, her dad redeployed to Korea, leaving Gloria and her mother behind. Only thing we had was uh, his dog tag. That little piece of metal was engraved with an address in the U.S. That, uh, permanent address was my grandmother's address. And it proved to be Gloria's path back to her father, but it took years. I'm very tenacious. I wanted to find out either, you know, my father's dead or alive. So I just keep sending the same letter to grand grandmother's house, hoping that somebody will answer me, you know. Gloria sent a letter to that address, the same letter, every single month for two years. A couple of years later, my, my father got that letter and he sent me a letter. First time in my life, that was, I was 15. The teenage Gloria, still in Japan, had reconnected with her father and they kept in touch. I cannot describe with the words how I felt. Until at age 22, Gloria boarded a flight from Osaka to Portland to meet her dad for the first time face to face. Such a emotion. We both cry. My father is, you know, Spanish. He's a very uh, emotional person. So he cried and I cried. <laughs> oh, oh, happy tears. And the girl born in a nation across the ocean started her journey to becoming an American.